Okay, it's time. Today I'm gonna to finish this city. All I have left is to apply the double weld. So I've already sewn all the double weld I'm gonna need and today I'm gonna to show you how to glue it down. All I'm gonna to need to do this is the double weld, high temp hot glue stick, a high temp hot glue gun, a pair of scissors, and a regulator or any sharp thin object like this will do. So the first thing I'm gonna do is flip the couch over so I can get a better angle at it and then I'm gonna start applying the weld. And I'll give you a close up to show you how you start it, how you end it, and how you make sure you get nice clean lines around your piece. So if you remember correctly, last time we worked on this video, I had the double welt on the front was already applied, but I was unhappy with it. So I've already removed that double welt and we're getting ready to reapply it for a second time. Uh, my piece is unique in that I can start sort of off of the piece. The underneath of this settee is going to be covered up with a dust cover. Um, and the way that my piece is designed is I can actually start my welt where the dust cover is going to cover it so I don't have to worry about creating a finishing end. So I'm going to start attaching it and then I'm going to come around to the front and reach around this way. And that's, that's when a lot of the detail work is going to start. So I'm going to just get started on that. When I'm applying double weld, I typically like to apply it to the directly to the weld because then I can make sure it doesn't go outside the boundaries of it and that I'm not going to create a hot glue mess on the outside. I also do it a very, very, very little bit at a time as you can see here. So I'm just going to start off the piece on the inside and I'm pushing this all the way up to the edge and I'm also pulling quite tight at the same time so that it looks nice and tight and clean when I apply it. Once I have it glued down, I'm gonna come in with this regulator and I'm gonna push it into the seam in the middle that I created when sewing it. This helps to create that nice crisp look and feel of the weld. So the part that was glued down is nice and glued. I'm just going to apply a little bit more glue to my weld. Stretch kind of hard and push it up into the piece. Now you might see glue start to squeeze out right away and I don't suggest you touch that with your hands. But you can take a piece of fabric if you work fast enough you can get it off of there before it creates any sort of mess on your piece. Because hot glue is extremely difficult to peel off velvet. I don't recommend it. So there I have my underside, nice and glued. So now I have to flip my piece over so that I can access the top or I'll come around from the other side. So here I have a better aerial view of my piece. I'm going to continue around just like I did on the other knee, applying a little bit of glue, a little bit at a time. Moving right up to the edge. And don't forget to always go back through and push down with the regulator. So this is the part that I really want to make sure I do a good job on because it's the very front of the piece. It's the part that everybody's going to see and I want to make sure that it looks nice and neat and clean. The purpose of a double weld is to cover up all the staple work on these pieces where your upholstery goes right up to some sort of decorative piece of wood. So we are gonna move right along on the front here, applying just a little bit at a time directly to the weld. And you can, you can put the glue on the furniture first if you're confident that you're not going to put too much or put it in the wrong place. So I'm using the very edge of this welt to go up 
to the very edge of the wood detail and I want to try and stay consistent so that it looks even evenly spaced along the entire front. Now it doesn't take long for hot glue to dry so you can move along pretty quickly if you're doing this in small pieces. Again, I'm pulling real tight as I go to make sure that it keeps a nice, tight, clean shape. And I'm just gonna keep doing this all along the front. So here we have an issue where I didn't get the glue right up to the edge that I wanted. But I don't necessarily want to rip off this well either because it can traumatize the finish. I've already ripped it off once before. So we want to get some glue right in this edge without making a mess so that we can push this welt up to the edge where it belongs. So in order to do that, I'm going to use this regulator, which has so many very useful uses. And I'm gonna put just a tiny bit of glue right on the tip. I don't wanna to add too much. I'm gonna push this well back so that I can get the glue in there. And then I'm going to, a little bit at a time, just bury that glue in there in small spots. As you can see, it already has attached there. So I'm going to work my way down. Might be a little too much. Let's see. Yeah. And of course, you'll want to clean your regulator off before you use it to go in between the welds. But I think one more spot here. We should be good to go. Perfect. You can use a toothpick for that. You can use anything that will allow you to get into that small space without traumatizing your fabric or what. So I'm just going to come back through here, press everything down. And I am happy with that. So if you're Repolstering a piece of furniture using a double weld, chances are you're going to have an area of the piece where you have to start and stop the weld where everybody can see it. On this case, I have to start and stop the weld to make it go around this shape. And where the weld meets, I need it to look almost seamless or that it just has a seam. I prefer to start and stop weld in the middle, at the bottom, where it's least likely to be seen. 
So I'm going to first prepare this end of my welt to be glued. And I'm gonna make a fresh cut. Open up the seam so that I can cut out a lot of the bulk on the end of this piece. I'm gonna get rid of the rope. I'm gonna use sharp scissors next time. Open it up to reveal the second part of the rope. And then I just want to get rid of some of the bulkiness of this fabric. So first I'm going to cut out, like, let me explain. This is going to fold over so that the front edge is finished. But in order for that to look not really bulky and to stick out a lot, I've got to remove a lot of this bulk. So I am going to cut away the inside completely so that that is not there at all. And then this portion is going to fold over and be glued underneath. So I still have a little bit of bulk I can get rid of there. I'm going to cut it into a nice little point. And to do this, let me see if I can move this camera a little bit. I need to glue, I need to put some hot glue here. This is a very risky burning option. So you want to make sure that you're protected. They do make silicone fingertips that are really good for this that I used to have, but I lost. So I'm going to, at the same time I'm folding this over, I'm pushing in those ends so you don't see it. And to, to really seal it down and do the trick, I'm actually, while it's still warm, going to push it down on the table flatten it out so it becomes much more flat on the end you get to see just that little bit of glue held it right down so now I'm going to start applying this to my piece I'm gonna go all around the headrest area or the backrest area and come back around and we're going to meet up to this point using the same finishing technique. I'm coming back around to where I started and I just have to create the finishing edge on this side. So I'm gonna undo the sewing again. Cut it a little bit longer than I need it so I have some material to work with. gonna open this up so we can get rid of both of these lengths of rope cut off this end and of course all the bulk on the inside Mm 
Hmm. Look at a nice clean tip. It looks like it's still a little too long. So I'm going to open up a little bit more. And remember, you're going to be pulling this tight as you glue it down too, so you're going to get a little bit of stretch. So you kind of have to gauge how much of a stretch you're going to get out of that. That looks good to me. I'm going to apply a little bit of glue here, and I won't be able to reach the table to attempt to flatten it. So I brought over a ruler that I can push it up against. And I want to make sure that none of this fold is visible from the front. And cut off there. <clears throat> so this time I'm going to put the glue right on the furniture so that I can grab the rest of the weld and pull it tight. I'm going to stretch it, push down at the same time. So the welt meets up together and is almost seamless.